Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. Today I have for you Chris's five week journey to goal weight. This is an update video. Remember, we just got back from vacation uh, yesterday. <laughs> And he did go off plan a couple of times during vacation. So we are going to have a weigh-in. We're going to have the Q&A. Lots going on. And if you want to see the rest of the videos that go along, I'll have the playlist linked right here for you guys. Remember, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you as a member of our YouTube family. Make sure you hit the notification bell so when I upload, you'll be the first to know. I'm going to have my Instagram name right here so you can go over there and follow me. I do post updates. I post on my stories daily. There's kitchen stuff going on. In case you don't know, we are going through a kitchen renovation my pet pics lots going on over there so make sure you follow me on instagram i do have a facebook group all things keto with christy it's over 22,000 members of like-minded folk just like us so they're doing low carb they're doing clean keto they're doing dirty keto so much going on over there and it's a supportive group you need to check it out you're gonna love it Now, before we get started with this video, I did want to let you know about a deal alert that I have, and it is with Perfect Keto, hashtag not sponsored. I just absolutely adore their products. They are clean keto items, so no matter what journey you're on, low carb or clean keto, dirty keto, lazy keto, whatever you're doing, they have products for you. Right now, through Wednesday, October 28th, I have a great coupon code. It is buy five or more products, and you're going to save 35%. That is a huge deal. So if you need to stock up on collagen, cookies, base, MCT oil powder, whatever you may need, go ahead and do it now so that you can save 35%. Again, this is only good until Wednesday. If you do nothing else, make sure you go get your collagen, people. Everybody should be taking collagen. Chocolate is my favorite. And this stuff never goes on sale. So stock up on your collagen while you can get it for 35% off. I'll have everything you need in the description box below along with the discount code and link. You can click on it and it'll take you over. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Let me start out this video by saying I am a disaster this morning. We just got home from the beach last night. I'm wore out. I didn't sleep at all. I realize this is Chris's video, but I just wanted to give you a rundown of things that were going to take place today. We want to get a lot done. I want to show you the kitchen in just a second. It's about 90 some percent finished and I'm excited. We still have several things that need to take place before, you know, the final reveal, but you know, it's, it's getting there. We finally have all the appliances in. So Chris just left to take Briley to school, who was not happy about going back to school. New animals showed up while we were gone. I'm having a bang. I'm going to be doing some dirty fasting because I went off the rails while we were on vacation. I'm going to do a more in-depth video on that. But this morning I need some energy because I want to work on the kitchen some, so I'm having a bang. I'm going to see if I can sweet talk Chris into going outside this morning and pressure washing and cleaning off our back porch, our covered area, the big deck that we have where I do all my recording because where they were in and out and all the construction stuff was back there for what two and a half three months it's a disaster a complete and total disaster so I need it all hosed down before we can paint and do other stuff in the kitchen because I don't want all that debris coming in okay I'm going to go ahead and drink this bang when Chris comes home we'll talk to him for a second let him go ahead and weigh so I'm going to show you the kitchen in a little while and we're going to talk about what happened on vacation and we'll also be having the Q&A section probably towards the end of the day because we still have to take back the rental car we got a lot to do today people so we're just going to take you along with us okay I rambled enough so good morning good morning welcome back home sure okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving the beach and coming home so you still have bedhead this morning. He just got back from taking Briley to school. Again, not happy about going back to school. What do you think about the kitchen? I love it. Do you? Yeah. Still got a little work to do. Yeah, we still got a little bit to do. But we're getting there. Right now it's looking like we may have a kitchen by Thanksgiving. <laughs> Maybe. So how did you do on vacation, you think? Oh, well, I'd say I put a few pounds on. But you didn't really go off plan much. I mean, just a few things here or there. Well, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday was a little bit of things here and there. Other than that, you know, I was on it the first few days and started again Sunday, so back on it. Okay, so this is your five weeks trying to get to goal weight. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, now we're negative again. So. so goal weight is 185 and you started at 200.6, I believe. So let's see where you're at now. You ready? Ready. Okay. 199. Okay, that's uh, an increase. Do you remember how much? Uh, 195.6. So about three and a half pounds. Four and a half. Oh, is it? 198. Uh, my math stinks. We already know that. No, your math stinks. It's my math that's good. You're up three and a half pounds. <laughs> that's not bad. One day of fasting, if you said you've went off and had a few things that you shouldn't, and we definitely didn't get in our fluid yesterday because we were traveling, and I always gain on travel days. Just know that, Chris, because we sat for, what, 10, 11 hours driving? Travel days stink, so you're going to retain fluid. I think one day fasting, and you'll probably drop that. So what is your plan today? Do you plan on eating or fasting today? I'm gonna to fast today. Dirty fast. You can see I drink right there. Bang energy drinks when I fast. It's eight o'clock. We got tons to do today. As he eats and drinks, we'll show you what he's having. But what's your plan this morning? Gotta pressure wash the porch. Porch, that's the first thing we need to do. Yes, so you can have your recording area. Right? <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay, so are you drinking anything this morning or what are you planning on doing right now? Uh, water. You gonna drink some water this morning? Water. What about drink enhancers? Did you drink any drink enhancers this week? I did. Oh. Sure we did. are gonna have to test those drink enhancers, that's for sure. We'll talk more about all that during the Q&A. We're gonna get our day started. We'll show you what we're doing as we go along, but as of right now, up three and a half pounds. Plus we have our walking this week. Oh yeah, this is the walking challenge. So we are gonna try to get in 20 minutes of exercise every single day. 20 minutes. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> you guys know I don't do good with exercise. I got you back. I know you do. Okay, let's get started. They did go ahead and cut the new door framing open. Remember, it was at an arch. So we're gonna have to go back in and paint things like this. That's what we had going on. And now we have it like this. So hopefully the plan is to also have this one done the same way when we redo the bathroom. Okay, let's talk kitchen. It is echoey in here. Here's the granite. It is steel gray. This is the hardware we picked out. We looked everywhere for things like this and it is ridiculous. We found these on Amazon for nothing. If we would have ended up purchasing these from Lowe's or Home Depot, we're talking about $600 to $1,000 because guys, let's face it, I got a lot of cabinets going on in here. But I think we ended up getting these for like 50. Okay, so here's the island, what it looks like. The plan is to have the entire island, the sides and the back wrapped in something, but I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet. We did have an outlet put right here. We got the dishwasher in now. The big sink is in now, stove is in, the hood is in. We had lights put under here, and there's the switches. We haven't put plates on here yet because we're gonna have subway tile, white subway tile put here, and probably here, but I'm gonna have it end like right here, and I'm thinking some white floating shelves put there. I'm gonna also have a subway tile put right here behind the stove and maybe line it up so that it ends right here and then goes over here too and back behind the sink. But see, can you see all the debris that needs to just be hosed off of everything on the outside before we do anything major in here? There is our big old sink. The faucet we got was a mowing. I think I showed you guys that. So that's what we got going on so far, guys. What do you think? Seriously, we made fast work of it this morning. It's only 8 to 18. We've already pretty much cleared off the entire porch and Chris has got the pressure washer out. We start early and we get things done fast. We've moved the rugs out there. We're gonna pressure wash everything and get it back to normal first thing this morning. I'm not kidding when I tell you guys, Chris, that man right there is one of the hardest working men I know. He never stops, never. He'll have this done in no time. And I'll have my porch bike. I'm so excited. I've missed my porch and so have Quincy and Mira. Quincy doesn't know what to think about having this all glass door right here. Mom said the entire time we were gone, he'd just come to this door and bark. It's just daddy out there. It's just daddy. Scaredy cat. 
924 and he is still outside working on the porch. Okay, it's 10 after 10. I've had a bottle of water and a drink of bang because a little bit of a kick to uh, get the porch cleaned off. So you're finished with the porch now? It is now pressure washed and clean. Ooh, I can't wait to go out there. We're letting it dry and then I'll show you guys what it looks like, but it was a disaster, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I went out and helped too, a little bit. <laughs> Just a little. She didn't touch the pressure washer. I know, but I've been in here working on the cabinets and wiping them down. Okay, so you're gonna take a shower and we gotta go return the van. Yep. Okay, we'll see you in a sec. See ya. Okay, let me show you guys the porch. So we just pressure washed, bleached some stuff down. Chris worked out here several hours this morning. It's the other side, Chris has already got his water out here. Okay, now it's time for our question and answer section. This is going to be a snack and chat because Chris is not gonna do OMOD today. He, how long did you dirty fast so far? 18 hours. So he's dirty fasted for 18 hours. It's around three o'clock and he's having his first meal and it's gonna be a snack. Well, let me show you what he's having. It's one of these little things. Have you seen these? These are at Walmart now. They have olives in them, they have pepperoni, and then they have mozzarella cheese. And this entire thing is two total carbs and also two dietary fiber, leaving it as zero net carbs. And then he's gonna have two of these sticks. These are the Duke's Original Recipe Smoked Shorty Sausages. We picked these up at Sam's. And two of these is less than one total carb. And did you already eat one? <laughs> yeah. He already ate one, so he's gonna eat two of these. So that's gonna keep... I got tired of waiting. <laughs> Sorry, I got busy. Are you drinking anything? I had a water. And he's drinking a water. So this is what he's having as a lunch slash snack today. I'm just having half of a grape Powerade. I've already started it. And now we're gonna talk. There's your snack, baby. Just thought I would all love you, baby. All love you too. <laughs> but I'm fasting all day today and that's gonna be a completely different video because I'm up like 30 pounds, I kid you not. So let's talk about vacation for a second. How did vacation go? Vacation went wonderful. Can we go back and stay? Be nice, wouldn't it? We love Florida, we love warm weather, we love the beach, we just like being somewhere where it's not cold. So anyways, issues, you got grass on you. So you were up three and a half pounds. Yes. Um, from last time. What were you this morning again? Do you remember? 199. 199. So that means you've only lost one pound in five weeks? Well, yeah. One and a half pounds. Yeah, I feel you. I blew it for three days, so. Happens to the best of us. Me. Vacation was, like we said, great. We did miss the pets. We came home to some extra ones. Um, mm. What else? Kids are not ready to go back to school. They're not happy. Briley wasn't happy about going back today. She's Kerrigan miserable. goes back tomorrow. Yeah, Briley's miserable. She, She's ready just to quit and drop out. Poor kid. She, and she's 11. And she's already like, I'm done. I'm just ready to be done. So this week, like we mentioned earlier, is the get 20 minutes of movement challenge. So we're gonna plan on walking every single day this week for 20 minutes. Yes. Hopefully. <laughs> He's hungry. We went to Walmart, picked up some groceries because we had nothing in the house. Did you have issues while we were in Walmart? Oh, yes I did. That's why he's having a snack now. He was hangry. Mm. No sense in pushing himself if he just isn't feeling it. I told him just to go ahead and have a snack or lunch or do whatever well, works. I mean, it's like you come off plan, you're off three days, you eat stuff, seafood. Next thing you know, here I am in Walmart looking around going, and there's stuff that I've not even thought about eating for weeks. And I'm walking through there going, well, I'd have one of those. How about that cake? Or how about this? Or how about that? All the old cravings come back, don't yeah, they? As they soon did. as you go off plan. Yep. It, it's horrible. But I fought it off. I know, you did. I'm so proud of you. But he was hangry and not happy at all. So we got <laughs> out of there, came home, and I was like, let's do this snack and chat so you can go ahead and eat. Absolutely. Okay, let's get to some of the questions. So this is the same as every week. If you have something you want to ask Chris or myself, we will answer it during this portion. He's going to start barking. Quincy is. He's out here with us. Just go ahead and put it in the comments below and we will get to it in the next video. So let's go over the ones we have now. I don't think you've seen all of these, but 
No, not all of them. Okay, so. I like for them to be a surprise. To begin with, CW, how did the pets do with mom? So, mom stayed here at our house with Mira, Quincy, and Mittens. And like I said, the new pets that showed up while we were gone, like several new cats, mm -hmm. they did great. They love my mom as much, if not more, than they love us. Quincy especially adores my mom. She just now left. She had to come visit him again today to make sure he was okay. He was eating well and everything was good. And he's standing right here looking for her, wondering where she went because he just adores her. So they did great, just so you guys know. Okay, Sandra wants to know, do we have any pictures of you without a beard? Mm, no, not unless, I, I don't think so. I don't know. I will look, if we do, I will add them right here. I think we may have a few where it's really short, like scruffy, but I don't know if we have any where it's completely gone. I don't know. You'd have to go way back okay. to when we were dating. Occasionally, and when I say occasionally, I'm talking like once every 10 years, he will shave his entire face, but as soon as he sees it, he's like, whoa, big mistake, and then he lets it grow back immediately. He never stays clean shaven for long. Marie who is down 100 pounds, amazing, says that she is trying to get her hubby to do keto. He doesn't want to give up beer. I have a cousin that does keto and he will not give up his beer either. He does do low carb beer. So those are out there if your husband is not, you know, one of these people who will only drink a specific beer. There are low carb beers out there. Just know that. But, she says, what's really going on in a man's mind about diet and weight loss? Apparently she's having a hard time convincing him. So, what's really going on in your head? Control. What What do you mean? I'm confused. Explain. Not eating what you want to eat. When you want to eat it. Okay, you have no way with junk food. No, no sweets. No, you know. To me, that, that would be the only thing I would think of. So, you don't like to do a diet because it feels restrictive or... Yes. I mean, if, you know, you can't just go grab what you want when you want and eat it. That's how you get Well, right guess here. what? That's not just men. That's everybody. Nobody likes that. Of course, we'd like to be able to eat whatever we want and still lose weight. It's just not going to happen. Well, I'm just telling you. That's what goes through my head. So. <laughs> do you think about the way you look? I mean, do you feel like you have self-esteem things? I mean, do you have... Because women, we know as women, a lot of us have those issues. Do men? Do you? Do you? I know you can't speak for all men, but do you feel like you have some issues like that too? Because yeah. men don't talk about them. Yeah, I mean, I, I have issues. I mean, just like being at the beach. I mean, me, which I'm still heavier than what I want to be, I won't run around without my shirt on unless we're at the pool. I mean, you, I see, you know, other men there the, that are seem to be older, that are, you know, slimmer, more in shape, and, you know, yeah, it, so it you bothers are, me. So you're so. self-conscious about stuff like that too? Oh, yeah. So men have the same issues as women, obviously. Unless you're just comfortable, like you are. Rosa. Rosa has a question. Hello, Rosa. We love Rosa. Rosa's been with us since the beginning. How long have you been metal detecting? 20 years. His entire life. I started in 2000. I bought my very first one in 2000. And how many metal detectors do you have? Four. He did do a video at the beach, so hopefully he's going to get that up and running soon. We spent a lot of time on the beach metal detecting as a family. Preston would metal detect, Chris would dig, vice versa. We would all take turns mm -hmm. just having a good time, and we did find a few things. We had a great time. It was fun. Yeah. Maureen, which is easier, staying on plan at home or staying on plan when you're at work, like oh. out of town? Because Chris works out of town the majority of the time. Well, at home. You think saying, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because th there's that temptation more when I'm uh, away from home. That's because Things you got nobody up. to slap it out of your hands, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, you do know, you need gone, that? So. Um, obviously, it's not easy to stay on plan when you're on vacation mm -hmm. for either of us. We, we, too many temptations. Too many things you want to try. Yeah. So, okay. Um, let's see. Jeannie. Fasting days, what time do you start eating on your fasting days? Uh, late in the afternoon. And when we talk about fasting days, we're talking about dirty fasting. We don't clean fast. We don't just do water fast. We don't dry fast. It's completely dirty fasting. It's linked below in the description box if you want to know what it is. I talk about it all the time. But you usually start eating about what time? I don't know, 5 or 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Except for today because you're going through sugar and carb withdrawal. Yeah. 
So yeah, Three he dishes. usually waits till later in the evening. We like to have our meals in the evening. We're nighttime eaters. We're nighttime snackers. Okay, April wants to know about my CBD that I use talked about it before. I do not have an affiliate program with them. I don't make anything off of them, but I use Santa Cruz Medicinals and I absolutely adore it. It is one that is keto friendly and I may have a discount code for it. If I do, I'll go ahead and put it in the description box for you guys. But I always suggest, you know, do your own research, check out everything on your own. I use it for anxiety, but a lot of people use it for a plethora of other ailments. Just do your own research again, because I'm not a doctor or nurse practitioner. Chris doesn't use anything like that because he is drug tested frequently. And even okay. though <laughs> if there's no THC in it, it does show up um, on the drug test apparently because someone was just fired at a job recently. Now he's not using the one I use. I don't know what he, he uses. And you, like I said, research, research, research. All CBD is not the same. I use the one that is keto friendly and I love it. So. Again, I'm not telling anybody to use it. I'm not telling you not to use it. Okay, is that all we got? I think that is everything for this snack and chat. Snack and chat. Mm -hmm. You're on your last one? Mm -hmm. Good. Did it help any? Oh yeah. <laughs> not hangry anymore? No, not hangry. Not hangry. Feel better. Good. Cause we don't want you hangry. <laughs> like I said, if you have anything you wanna ask us, if you want us to talk about anything specific, Make sure you put it in the comments below. I will write those down and we will get to them in the next video. See you next time, guys. So the entire time we're sitting here doing the snack and chat. Look who's right beside of us. Quincy, what are you doing? He's just happy to have us home, I think. He's happy to have the porch back. Both the animals are thrilled to have this porch back. They've missed it. Okay, so it is 540 and we just parked. We're going to walk our downtown area for 20 minutes. Are you guys doing the walking challenge? Getting in 20 minutes of exercise this week. You got to get on it, people. We got this. You ready? Ready. 20 minutes. We're going to do 20 minutes and then we're going home to eat. Mm -hmm. Because he is still hangry. He's having a hard time today. What? What? Still hangry. Still having issues. Mm. I'm not going to take you on the walk with me just because I don't want to carry this big bulky camera, but let me show you what we're going to be walking. This is what our downtown area looks like. So we're just going to walk all the way down and then all the way back up on this other side of the street. And we're just going to do that for 20 minutes. So this is what we got going on for dinner tonight. I'm gonna to be making some meatballs. I'm gonna put these in the air fryer. I'm also gonna be making some of the palmini noodles. This is the linguine, close enough to spaghetti noodles for me. And then I'm gonna be putting some mozzarella cheese on top of all of this. The sauce that I am using today is the Lucini's or the Lucini's. This is the one that I get from Walmart, the rustic tomato basil, no sugar added. I'm just using this one because it's already open. A half a cup is 35 calories, one and a half fat, five total carbs with two dietary fiber, giving you three net carbs, one protein. Over here is your ingredients. Everything in that is clean keto. I'm using the Palmini Linguini noodles. There are three servings in this. One serving is 20 calories, four total carbs with two dietary fiber, leaving you two net carbs. The only ingredient in this is hearts of palm. I'm gonna boil these for 20 minutes so that they get extremely tender. Personally, I love the palmini noodles, even in the lasagna. If you have a favorite keto noodle, put it in the comments below because Chris isn't a huge fan of palmini. He says they're a little chewy. So we'll see what he thinks tonight after boiling them for 20 minutes. These are the meatballs that I'm using tonight. I picked these up at Walmart. Six meatballs are 250 calories, 20 fat, five total carbs, two dietary fiber, giving you three net carbs and 13 protein. You can see right here by this laundry list of ingredients, there's a lot going on. So in my opinion, this is probably more of a low carb item. It does have dried cane sugar. It does have breadcrumbs. So 
not keto, low carb. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in my air fryer. They're already fully cooked, but I wanna go ahead and heat those up. So I'm just gonna do that while the linguine's cooking. For our vegetable tonight, I went ahead and opened a can of green beans. I just picked these up at Walmart. One serving is half a cup with 15 calories and two net carbs. And like I said, I just cooked these up in two tablespoons of butter. So that's what Chris's dinner looks like for tonight. A serving of green beans cooked in butter. He has a serving and a half of the palmini noodles, nine meatballs with a serving of marinara sauce and mozzarella cheese. When I cooked the sauce up, I did go ahead and add a little bit of garlic and some other spices to that. He's also drinking a bottle of water. So did I boil the palmini noodles long enough for you this time? Yes. So. They're good. Good? No chewiness. <laughs> okay. 20 minutes is long enough for the linguine noodles, just so you know. No. Please repeat what you just said. No. No, so repeat it. I said, now that I'm eating so late tonight, I won't want any ice cream before I go to bed. To which I laughed hysterically. It's only seven o'clock, and I guarantee you, <clears throat> he will eat ice cream tonight. I laughed too after I said it, so. <laughs> It's 15 after eight and Chris just set his ice cream out to soften. Okay, what did you eat? The caramel chocolate cookie dough. The enlightened ice cream, how much yeah. did you eat? Mm. Half. Okay, was it good? Yeah, this one's really good. I like this one. You guys have had that one before. I haven't had this one in a long time. No, mm -hmm. because it's one of their newer ones. So you like that one? I do, okay. it's really good. We'll have to get more of it. That one I will. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us today. Watching this video, make sure you hit the notification bell and subscribe before you leave. I'll see you next time. Bye.